It's a 2000 Mitsubishi Kana 4x4 X rural fire truck from Cape Jarvis, South Australia. So yeah, I picked this up in Inverell, drove it back to Lightning Ridge. A couple of days later, I've yeah, decided to come up, spoke to Jacob and the crew from Go, and we decided, hey, let's bring it up here, get the electricians, get all the boys from Go with their forte, and get them into it, and yeah, tear everything completely off the back, get all the pumps, boxes, all the electrical work sorted, so, I can turn this into a off-grid sort of camping family vehicle for out at the ridge. What are we doing, Alex? Um, so if you look in here, we got all these ends to the cables. We've got ethernet cable. I've no idea where that goes, but we're gonna trace it out, see where it goes, and if it's redundant, take it out. And if not, we'll use it for something else. It might be ethernet. This could be a Wi-Fi truck. Who knows? 5G truck. <laughs> 5G truck. Let's get it. Yeah, so just pulling everything apart, testing everything, see what we can use. And if we can use it, we'll use it. If not, we'll pull it all out and yeah go from there Sick. there's been a fair few redundant cables that we've just taken out like this is a bird's nest but we're getting through it it's been good are you sweating a little bit just a little bit all right we'll be sweating more later What's going on here? <laughs> Everything's coming out, man. Nothing can stay. Look at all this. I don't know what this does. Just cut. I didn't cut it. It's already cut. Nothing worked here because nothing was wired in. But I have no idea where these cables go and they go under the floor this way. That's the next step. We'll trace it out this way and figure out where it all goes. That's the plan. <laughs> Make these safe. Put them in little Wagos. All lovely and safe for now. So just another thing to add to a week in the workshop. Mm. We've got a Jetta here that we're trying to fix, eh? That's mm. right. You know that Ian, part of our team, has been an aviation mechanic for the last, I don't know, 20, 25 years, something like that. You know that? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. And what, what, who are you? I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> I'm anything you want to be. Cool. <laughs> mm. Very good. But I fix problems. Oh, cool. This is a problem and it needs <laughs> fixing. What have you done? Mate? You sprung a leak. Oh, shivers. I think I've done something I wasn't supposed to. What's the HAPS project manager? So basically, we've cut all the cables going to the pump and from the console at the top. It's all been removed now take off the pump, put it somewhere else, and then we will make all the cables safe, figure out where the 12 volt comes from, isolate it back at the battery, and then basically it's all, it's all done from the backside. How are you thinking? Are you, happy? Oh, yeah. are you a happy customer? Yeah, I'm a happy customer, but the fuel's plumbed into the main petrol tank or diesel tank, so we're gonna have to cut and clamp it and go from there. So when the pump's going, it's obviously drawing it from the main tank up into here, keeping it all pressurised. Yay. Um, so basically it's plumbed into the actual tank itself, so we can't lift the motor 
because it's plumbed directly into the fuel tank and if we lift the motor and rip the lines out, diesel will go everywhere and that's not a good sign. So we need to get a few fittings to fit that and then we can remove the tank or remove the pump, remove the tank and then basically get it all off here and that, that'll be job done, hopefully. Better than sniffing wires. I mean, cable ties. Yeah, zip ties. Zip ties. There we go. No wires sniffing. Nah. Not for me. Oh man. Your hands a bit dirty, bro. Oh, it's, it used to be dirty, but now it's just muddy. What do you got there? The fire reel, the fire hose, the fire extinguisher. I think you got a slight oh. problem with your fire hose. Fire drip, just not connecting. That's oh. <laughs> my fire snake. <laughs> what used to be there, brother? Oh, the old pump. Go on. It's off. Pick pump luck. That one's next. Right. Summarise the day. What we've done, we've gone through, taken off the water tank, the pumps, the hoses, the boxes, the gates, the fittings, and flooded the whole warehouse. And what are we doing tomorrow? Now we're Quick. pretty much wrapping up everything. Tomorrow we're putting new checker plate on, getting the rest of the rest of the pipes out, taking off these Five doors, seconds. and we're going. We're going home? Yep. We're going to dinner? Yep. Bye. Watch day two, boss. Day two, we get in here a bit late. Got Don and Alex already working on the read, getting it done. So yeah, pulling up all the old check plate. It's been riveted down and then pretty much then glued down. Um, so yeah, getting all, getting all the top rivets off, getting the checker off. Don's gonna whip up a brace, bracket for inside there. And then, um, yeah, put, put, I suppose, new sheet on, get all the pipes taken off from underneath. So we'll wait till all that comes off. So then we can get to a lot easier than trying to climb underneath it. We can do it from the top. Line it with the new checker plate. The check, checker, the check plate. Alex is gonna go through, check all the wiring, make sure everything's 100%. And that's pretty much a wrap. Back to Lightning Ridge. Yeah, jump in the truck and start heading back. Nine, 10 hour trip home. So and back to the desk for me. <laughs> back to the desk for you. Back to your aircon. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What are we up to now? Just scraping it off before this car gets moved. Scraping off some of the silicon that's holding or it's holding on the bed. Yeah? Yeah. These fellas? Yep. That's All the one. Right. <laughs> First time using a Hornet, what do you reckon? A absolute weapon. I'm not the biggest of fellas, so I nearly got blown off the ground. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. I like it. Love how you can hook up the suds. Quick connect. Quick connect straight to your gun. Blow it down with some beautiful soapy mm, detergent. What do we use? Truck and something degreaser? Yeah, something truck wash. Blow it down with some truck um, degreaser, truck wash. And um, yeah, disconnect straight back onto the water wand and away we go. What's a 4,000 PSI feel like? Feels like, I don't know, what does it feel like? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. What's a good word? Feels like a witch on a broomstick. Yeah, That's nice. what it feels like.
26 years of sweeping down job sites. Gotta trim it up a bit. I'll go in. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> That's alright, eh? Just like that, Don. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't even have to weld it. If you just like, there we go. All right, on the welder, Josh. Pardon? On the welder, you go. Scraping houses to scraping out a truck bed. Pass your ears. What happened? Oh. Throwing this up like that. And I caught the wrong end. <laughs> That's dangerous. Don't you love it when you're that good these days that you just look at your in bolt and you go and get it and it's the right one. Just go 10, yep, 12, yep, 13, 17, 24. Is it a decal or a decal? Either. Oh. I'm just putting in this last oh. piece here. True. Fabrication, welding, stripping. That's that's my specialty. <laughs> Fabricating, stripping, welding, my gosh. Yeah.
done. Alright, All right, so that's a wrap peeps on this job. Um, yeah, the boys from Go Industrial have been absolutely amazing for them to offer, for me to drive up, um, reconstruct the whole truck, pull everything off, and we got it done in two days. So that's pretty much a wrap. I'm ending it, jumping the truck, making the trip back. Um, completely amazed with the look, the new look of my new truck. Sorry, it's too early. No, I feel Thank you for all tuning in, watching. If you would like, jump on, subscribe to Go Industrial YouTube, Painting by Josh YouTube, keep up to date with everything that we're doing. And this is just um, episode one. We're gonna have a lot of custom things going on with this truck in the future. So yeah, and keep watching. Appreciate you all. Much love. <laughs>